Hello Musketeers and welcome back to Planetary Annihilation Alpha version 50742 is the new update they just released this yesterday or today. Uh, I think it was yesterday and I did not get a video of it up yet. But uh, they've added several new things, um, mostly like pathing fixes, more pathing obviously. The AI um, is actually like they're actually starting to work on the AI so now hopefully the AI won't just sit there and do nothing. That's the general idea. I haven't actually seen it yet. I haven't played a game yet. We're going to find out about that. But what I want to see first is the brand spanking new planet editor. Which, oh, no, 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 do not generate that. Oh, God. Yeah, I have played with this. No, wait, not that. I was thinking about this. I was, <laughs> uh, I played with this a little bit. It's pretty cool. Radius is something you want to worry about because if you do a 100 radius thing, it'll basically crash your computer. Let's just uh, let's just build a planet, you know. Let's just see what it looks like, eh? Build a nice old planet. It can take a little while, and now it's uh, making like a, a thing not respond. All right, building the galaxy. What about the planet itself? Still waiting on that. There we go. Yeah, planetary generator. Oh, nice. That is a nice transition. Oh, dude. Let's, uh, let's mix it up a little. Biome scale, height range, water height, and temperature. That way. And resources can stay how it is. And then let's make it bigger. Build it. Oh, man. This is just basically the absolute most basic form of the Planet Editor. There's no actual, like, hand sculpting yet, which is what we're all looking forward to, so we can make our own, you know, custom planet that aren't that isn't even... Randomly generated. Alright, build the planet, please. Yeah, sometimes it can take a while, which is annoying. Of course, if I t turn down the radius, then it won't take as long, but... Um... Let's, uh, let's turn down the radius. A oh, zero. Let's not have it be zero, because then we won't actually get it, even get a planet. Okay. Planet is just about to appear, I imagine, because now it's not responding. <laughs> that probably means... That probably means it's about to appear. Oh, jeez, wow, wow, jeez. Ah, there we go. Oh, nice. I like it. I like the biome. I, th I think I like it with a lower biome scale. Let's try it with a higher biome scale, though, and smaller radius. Let's see what happens. What? Where'd the sun go? What? <laughs> That's how they're run rendering the sun. That's great. Doesn't look all that. Oh, actually, that looks smaller. Yeah, you can tell by the like the mountain size compared to the rest of it. It looks smaller. Yeah, I can't actually really tell a difference with the biome scale. Well, I mean, like this is way bigger than the other patches in the previous planet, so maybe that's what what it's talking about. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the other ones too. They finally added other things. Let's just set this down to like normal-ish, so we just get normal old planets. Uh, temperature down to 50. Alright. So they've added the basic materials necessary to make the other kinds of planets that were unlocked through the uh, the Kickstarter stretch goals. Including lava planets, which we have not battled on yet. But they are, like, ready to go. You can see I got a nice lava, and obviously it's got, like, the resources on it, so it's actually, like, playable. But lava needs some work, you know. Definitely definitely need some work to look better. Uh, then there's metal, which is not quite um, awesome yet. Yeah, it's kind of... yeah, it's missing a whole lot. So metal isn't nearly done, and we're probably not going to be battling on this for a few more updates. I don't even know if we're going to battle on lava for god knows how long. But then there's the moon. You can generate a moon for you. You know, pretty awesome. Got some nice craters in there. And then tropical. Which we've also battled on. We've battled I'm pretty sure we battled on a tropical planet, haven't we? I think we have. I wanna see the moon at the lowest radius. Does that actually like, give me still give me a planet? Yeah it does. Yeah, so this is like the moon's radius, basically. Where the hell did the sun go? Oh it's it's too small. I can't even see the sun. I I don't know what that means. Anyways, um Get some metal deposits in the crater. That's interesting. But they also said that they're at, they have added the backbone for um, 
what's it called? Um, backbone for planetary. Planetary stuff. Oh, wow. So that's what happens when you have a biome scale of zero. Nice. Just a rock floating in space. Oh, that didn't change anything. How did that not change anything? That's, uh, that's weird. Change the height range. Change the water height? Why is my lava planet not generating anything? <laughs> this is weird. I don't know what's going on here, man. They set up the backbone for, for interplanetary battle, is what I was trying to say. That's what they said in the patch notes. There we go. So it was the water height, strangely enough. But yeah, so hopefully uh, within another update or two, we'll be able to start having at least like launching to the moon, you know, at the very least. No, no word on exactly when we'll be able to actually like battle between planets, though. I do like the mountains on the lava planet. That's really cool. I guess the volcanoes, not the mountains. Anyways, um, I'm going to see you guys in the battle, and that's what the next video will be. Thank you for watching, and we'll be right back.